www.scratch.mit.edu and you click enter. Then you sign in. I'll go back and use my username. Then you enter your password. Sign in. After that, you go, to, you create a new folder and you delete the scratch cats. So now you want to build a soccer game. You choose a backdrop, you go to the sports, and choose soccer too. Then after that, you choose a sprite. The sprite that you'll pick will be in the people section. Then you scroll down and you choose Taylor. You want to shrink Taylor to a smaller size, like 50 or 30. And I'll probably recommend 30 because it's a good size. After that, you can change it from Taylor to Blue Team. And then you go and choose a Sprite and you go to the People section again. You scroll down and then you pick Tatiana. Click Neymar Red Team. After that, you change your size to 30 also. And put her on this side. Then you go to our costumes and change her color. So you change her color to the color red. You color the you color each section of her to make it red. Once you're done with that, you, go, you click on Tatiana A and you go back to the code. Then you want them to be opposite each other. You can make him X0, Y0. And you go to the center and then you can bring it up like this. So, two, twenty three, two. You bring the red and you bring forever. And once you've done that, you bring it, you duplicate the code and you take it to her. If it doesn't come, you remove this and you can bring it back again. Now, she's going to be opposite it. So, you could do 
minus 2. Yes, yeah, so now she's opposite him. Once you've done that, you got the red when green flag clicked. And now you make the backdrop. You go to the backdrops, you color the whole backdrop green. First, you use the square. You make it outlined black and you make the filling color green. Well, it's a type of dark green. Then you tape it all across the whole place. Once you've done that, you can now continue. You go and bring a sprite, and that will be a ball. You go to sports again, and you bring the soccer ball. You make the soccer ball also size 30. So you've done that. You make it be in the center of the two of them. So you make it zero and zero. Then you click on it, and now it's in the center of the two. Now you can bring the wearing green flag clicked, and you connect it. And after that, you go to the blue team. Then you click on the reshape. You remove the pointy here, all around it. If you make a mistake by deleting the two, it's okay. You can just see the arrow set and it will appear back. Once you've done that, you click on Taylor A and you click here. Then you go to the red team and you point it in the direction minus 90. And do minus because that won't work. After that, you click green flag and you see she's facing forward. Now you go back to the backdrops and you paint it. You check here and see what is the same and see what's different. So you can see the outline is white. You make it five and you click on the line. Once you've done that, you start from the end you make it straight, and once you've done that, you can take it. You scroll up, and once it goes along, you can make it thicker. You just click on the 5, and you make it higher, and you make it all the way till 10. And you can click on it. And you can move it to be in the center of it. Then after you've done that, you can now make a circle on it. The circle would also be white. You make the field in white also. And then you can make a circle, a small circle, but not smaller than the soccer ball. We bring it down until when it's around the soccer ball. After that, you make the fill empty. Then you make another circle around it. This circle must be the same size as the other one, but will be thicker. And you make sure it's in the center of the field. 
So if you just click on the mouse and you click on it, you can make it meet in the center. After that, you can go back and look again. And you see, we've gotten this side correct. Now, let's start building the edges. So you go to the square and you make the outline white. You scroll to the side and you make it this big. And after that, you make it thick. You can make it up to 20. And after that, you click on the mouse. You click on it. You copy it. Then after that, you paste it. And you go all the way here. You make sure it's on the other side. You make it go down and you shift it back. And you make sure that on the right side. If it isn't the right side, you can make it bigger. I also feel like it's the right size, you can leave it and you can check the field again. Next, you can see there's another rectangle inside. So you can paste another one and you can shrink it. Be in the center of that field, but you make it smaller. Once you've done that, you copy it and paste it. And once you've pasted it, you can bring it over to the other side. And now you've got it to two sides, equal. If you feel like it isn't equal yet, you can shift it. And then you check again. Is there another problem? No. So now that you, you're done with the field, you can start making the scoreboard. So you just paint a new sprite. You make a rectangle. You can make it white, but the outline would be a, a light red. And you bring it to the other side. You can bring it out and you can stretch it a bit. After that, you can go to the pointer and you copy it then you can paste it and bring it over to the other side then you can make the outline white blue once you've done that you can leave here and you make some variables you make one and you call it Looting. You delete the my variable. You make another one and call it the red team. So now you bring the red team over here and the blue team over here. You make two more and you call it new name. And you make it to be hidden. Then you make a variable red name. And you make it hidden. Now you can see that the both of them are hidden. Once you've done that, you make a block. You call the block name, start, and you add an input. And you call that input, game. So that will be called start game. You remove it, and you go to the blue team. Then you can make that over here. So 
now, once you have to define start game, you can remove the forever. Here, you add the start game at the end. And you card this game and put it in. So now you go to the sensing, you may not ask what's your name, and you change it to enter username. And after that, you may go to the look section and you take after that, you go down and you enter username. You scroll down, and when you see your answer, you stop. So let's save first and test it. You click go. But nothing worked. Now you can see why it didn't work. You ring this above it and you click go and after that you would see enter username you could enter Denzel and you'll see your username once you've done that you can stop it and now let's continue so in the start game you want to make the user move and to achieve that you have to first go to the control and bring out if touching. You bring it once, you duplicate it. When it's twice, you duplicate the twice until it's full. Now you bring it in the forever. And now you go to the sensing and you bring out key space. And you add it in all of the if touching. Once you've done that, you make the key space up, down, right, left. You can see if you right click it, you can do edits. You can change it from the game. After that, it comes to motion because that's the way to make any character move or sprite. You scroll up and when you see change X, you bring it out. You go to the right and you change it to change X by five. You can do change Y by five. You can also do minus five in the vault. You can also do again minus five. So now let's go. You can see. We can't move. But once you enter your username, now you can move. But there's a problem. Let's solve that now. You go to the look section and bring out the next costume. After that, you add it in all of it, one by one. Then after that, you go to the motion and bring the point in direction. So you scroll down first and then point to direction 90 to the right. And if you want to change the point in direction, you can click on the 90 and then you turn it the whole way you want. I'll make this minus 90 for the left. I'll make it one zero for up, and I'll make it one eighty for down. So if we test it again, 
you enter your username. Now you can see you're moving. But to make sure you go back to where you are, you have a gray flag and you'll be back to her. And then you add it in pointy direction 90. And you can save it now. Now you see it's facing forward. Now let's make the red team move. First, you will also bring out glide one sec to random position. So now you can see what that does. It makes it move to a different direction. You first remove it and you stop it. Once you've done that, you bring it back to where it was. And after that, you can make a new block. You'll call this block move. Now you bring the move here. And you want it to start moving after you've entered your username. So after you do start game, you go to events and you broadcast a new message. You call it start game. Now you've added under the start game or before the start game. Then you go to the red team and you ring when I receive start game, then move. Then you put the define move on top. Once you've done that, you can test it again to see what happens. Enter your username, and you see, it starts moving. And now, you want it to face in the direction of the ball. So, you go to the motion, and you do point towards there is no random position in the pointing towards. You can point towards a soccer ball. And now you can change the sprite one to scoreboard. Now you've done that, you'll make the score to move. But before you do that, you have to make the ball move. And for that to happen, you go to the backdrops. You can delete Sucker 2 now that you have the backdrop. I can remove this backdrop, Sucker Game, or you can call it Sucker Field. Once you have that, you can color it a different color. You can color this blue and you can color this red. Once you've done that, you would see that the net has the same color as the blue team. So the scoreboard matches it. So that way you can know which team you're on by the clothes you're wearing and also again, your blue team. You go to the red team and you go to the costumes now. After that, you go to the reshape you delete that and you delete those two. You can delete every other one because you don't need it. Now you can see, you can see the hair. You save now. And once you've done that, 
You can now continue. So first, you go to the blue team and scroll down. Now you can see everything here is set. So now you can make a new sprite. You paint it and then you make it a circle. The inline of the circle or the outline would be white. And you make it 10. And the inline will be like a dark type of pink or a lightest type. Once you've done that, you bring it up and you can shrink it. Or you could just make the outline more thicker. Then you use your mouse and you bring it to the center. Now you can drag it all the way down to the left side. And we'll walk through that later on. But first, let's make the ball move. So now, the ball would also need to move. But first, before you do that, you have to do when I receive the start game. You make a block and you call it move. You can see that it's the same as the red team. Because that's how it's meant to be. So once you've done move, you define the move. You go to the control and bring forever. After that, you can bring if touching. You make it fur, and you'll see that later on. Now that you have that there, You bring in your characters. You bring in blue team. And before that, add an underscore to the red team. And very soon you see that. You go to soccer ball. You bring blue team. After you've brought out blue team, you go out again and bring out red team underscore. Now you have that, you make it point in the direction of those. So it's a point in the direction that the blue team is facing. And it's a point in the direction that the red team is facing. You can also make it go to them. Now let's test it. You can see that it's moving in different directions. And it's moving too fast. So let's do that. You go to the red team. You just add one simple block of code. Wait one second. Or you could add it in the middle. Or at the end. So you can add it any place you want to add it. After that, you save now and you start it. But we're not done yet. So now you go to the football or the soccer ball. And then you make the score work. So before you do that, you duplicate those two endings and add them at the ending. 
for that to happen, you add if cotton color. So if it's touching this color, and if it's touching this color, once you've done that, you go to the variables and you bring out change blue team by one if the it is touching the red and to change the red team by one if it's touching the blue then you can set the blue team to zero but you don't add it here so first let's test it and then we can move on to the announcer So after you've added the announcer there, you go to when green flag clicked. Then you bring out the forever and you add if touching. You can add it like four times because you need to add it that amount. So first, you bring out three of it and remove one of the if touching. Then you add everything back. You go to the operators and you bring out greater, less, and equal. So the blue name, you will set it to Blue team. I know it's you know I know you can think it's impossible to write letters inside a variable, but it's actually possible. And then you would set the red name to the red team. Once you have that there, you can now start it. So here you bring if the blue team is equal to the red team. Then you write, they would say a tie. And you can also say you add the say in the remaining two. So then you re you duplicate it and you add blue team here. And you duplicate it and add red team here. So if the red team is less than the blue team, they would say blue Sim highest. Or they don't have to say that. You could just remove that. And you can duplicate this. So you make this the blue team. So if the blue team is higher than the red team, it's a say for two seconds, it's a join. So here you add a space and you delete everything else. And you can add highest. So that happens if the blue team is higher than the red team. You duplicate and you add it here. Once you've done that, you can duplicate it and add it up here too. Or you move the blue team and replace it with the red team. And now you can remove this and you can add this up here and duplicate it and add it back down here. 
So if the blue team is highest and the red team is highest, so you swap places and now let's test it out. But you want to first make sure that the soccer ball always stays in front. So you can always see it. You might want to add forever so that you can always see it. So now let's test it. And you can see how they can collect the ball. But the ball stays with them. So that's the problem. But there's a way to fix this. So first, you go to the blue team, or it's staining it. And you can make it go to the blue team. As you can see, but to make it work better, you will make the blue team be 10. You make all the code in here be 10 and the minus 10. Now you can test again to see. You can see now you can I can see how to collect the ball back. But the soccer ball needs to move. So you can see it's a change red team by one and change blue team by one. And then it waits three seconds. And it will go back to its normal position. You can add that to the bottom of these two and test again. Now let's continue. So now, after we've done this, you can now go back here and check again. It changed right team by one if touching blue but you want it to stay under or on top so if you make it go to the back layer instead of the front layer you would see what would happen So let's try that first. You can see what you can now see what happens whenever it's at the back of you.
So let's test it first. Now you can add move ten steps and move minus ten steps. And you don't want it to be in the center. You want it to be about downside. Let's test it one more time. You can see the blue team is highest. Two highest. Let's go to the announcer and it says blue team highest and red team highest. We can bring this red name and the blue name. Now you can see everything is working out well. Yes, but now we have to add some music. So let's go to the announcer. Go to sound. Delete the pop music, go to the loops, scroll down. And when you see guitar turn, you pick it. You make it softer. And once you've done that, you go to the sound. But you don't want it to be pausing when the announcer wants to say something. So you bring it into its own area where it can't get disturbed. Once you've done that, you go to the red team, you duplicate, and you can see red team too. So now you can see why I brought the underscore. Red team three. And you can add one. You save now, and I will call it lesson five. Soccer game. And now you can see. So let's play first and test it out. And now, if we go to the announcer, you set blue team to zero, and you can set red team to also zero. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. So now we've come to the end of this lesson. I hope you can now build a soccer game. Perfect! Don't forget to like, and subscribe.